Greetings folks, welcome. In this short video, we're going to have some fun in Excel calculating location quotients. You might recall that location quotients are an indicator of the extent to which a region, this could be a state, metropolitan area, or a county, specializes in the production of a certain type of good or service. The formula that we use when calculating location quotients is LQ, that stands for location quotients, equals EI divided by E, where E represents employment in the region that you're interested in, and I is an index for a specific uh, industry. But again, it could be a manufacturing industry, it could be wholesale trade, it could be retail, etc. Whereas just E without the subscript is total employment in the region that you're studying. That EI divided by E gives us the percentage of employment in the region you're studying in the particular sector that you're interested in. You divide that by USI divided by US, where US almost always is the entire US economy for analysis you're doing of, say, US states or US counties, but it could be more generic, just thought of as the benchmark that you're using for your calculations. USI represents employment, again, in the benchmark in the sector that you're studying, whereas just US is total employment in the benchmark economy. So here you can see my spreadsheet. This is data that I downloaded from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis. It's total full-time and part-time employment by NAICS industry, um, where NAICS stands for North America Industrial Classification System. You see there's information in columns A through column G. In column A, it's just a geography identifier where zeros happen to stand for the entire United States. And 23000 is the geography identifier for the state of Maine. So we're actually calculating our location quotients for Maine. You see um, in column C, you have what's called line code. This just keeps track of the industries that you're studying. So the first line code is 90, then it's 100, 200, etc. You see the, uh, those line codes for the U.S. and then repeated for the state of Maine. And then you see the description. Um, for those line codes. So the top one here is private non-farm employment. This is our version of total employment. So for the United States in 2021, this value was about 174 million. So um, total full-time and part-time employment in the U.S. in 2021, again, was about 174 million. And here you see that information by sector. Here's forestry, fishing, and related mining, quarrying, and, and oil and gas extraction, wholesale trade, finance and insurance, etc. Um, and then you see the same information down here for the state of Maine. So if you're interested in the state of Maine, utilities employment in 2021 uh, was 1,930 employees. If you're interested in employment in Maine in educational services, in 2021, that was 22,287. So again, this just kind of gives you a sense of the data that we're working with. Um, I'll copy and paste some of this information into a clean worksheet for calculating the location quotients. Um, so let's grab the names of the geography. Oops. Let's grab the description. That's important. Let's grab the employment numbers. We'll calculate our location quotients for 2021. Although it could be interesting to calculate location quotients for multiple years to see how they've changed. I'm going to blow this up so it's a little bit easier to see. Also, since, again, you have all this data for the entire United States, which is our benchmark economy, then you have it repeated for Maine, I'm going to cut this data out for Maine. And I'm going to move it next to the data for the United States. I can also 
delete these rows here just to clean things up a little bit. So here we have the data. I'll just say US data and then I'll say main data. And I guess since I know it's for 2021, I can even delete this row just to clean things up a little bit. Also, we'll center the data and let's put in commas. It just makes it a little bit easier to read if you have these commas. So again, if you kind of scroll, oops, although you don't want a comma there for, for the year. So let's remove, oops, now I'm just, let's go down to number and get rid of the decimal. Okay, so here, here again, we have, we know that this data is for uh, 2021. And so for the US as a whole, um, 100, about 174.5 million employment. For Maine, it's um, 727,000. Um, for the manufacturing sector, about 13.1 million employees in the U.S., um, about 58,000 in Maine. Um, professional, scientific, and technical services, um, about 14.8 uh, million employment in the U.S., just over 50,000 in Maine. Anyway, this just kind of gives you a sense of the data. Again, if you remember, to calculate location quotients, it's EI divided by E where this value right here, uh, total private non-farm employment, is E. Again, this is total employment in Maine, um, where the EIs would be employment in given sectors. So an EI would be employment in forestry, employment in mining, employment in utilities, employment in construction, etc. So if we, you want to calculate EI divided by E, you can put your cursor here and say equals, put your cursor over this cell, and it fills in D7, divide that by the value that's in D6, voila. So this tells us that um, about 2% of Maine's employment is in forestry, fishing, and related activities. And you can do the same calculation here for mining, equals D8 divided by D6. So, wow, that's a very small percentage. <laughs> Less than 1%, um, a very small percentage of employment in Maine is in the mining, coring, and oil and gas extraction. Um, there's a little bit of a shortcut. I mean, you could just go cell by cell and put in um, those formulas. Or if you wanted to, you could go up and you could copy and paste this formula down the rest of the column. The only issue you have to keep in mind is that Excel is based on a relative address. So if you just simply take this cell and copy it, so let's copy this cell and just sell it below it, what it's doing is it's now saying, I want to divide um, 1930, which is the value in this cell, but instead of dividing it by the value for total main employment, it actually moves that down a cell as well. Because again, it's based on the relative address. So it's just saying we want, we want to take this formula and move it down, but sort of update um, the cells that are used for that division because it's a relative address. Um, but we always want to divide by the total employment. So way around that is you use a dollar sign. A dollar sign freezes that value. So I'm going to put a dollar sign up here. So now this says D8 divided by D dollar sign 6. So what this will do is now when I copy and paste um, this formula, it's always going to freeze it. So it's always going to divide um, the cell by D6, again, which is the total employment for, for Maine. So now we can copy and paste these cells. And here we have the percentage of Maine employment in all of these sectors of the economy. 
Um, just to make sure we did it right, let's do a summation. And this should sum to one because we've accounted for all the industries. There you have it. It sums to one. If you don't believe me, we can go out as many decimal points as you want, and it exactly sums to one. All right. We don't want that many decimal points, though. In fact, we don't even need this many decimal points here. Let's just do a few, and I'll format that entire column. Okay. So again, here we have some information on um, the percentage of total main employment in, in um, these sectors of the economy. So you see retail trade accounts for 13.5% of main employment. Here's healthcare and social assistance is 16%. Um, what's manufacturing? Manufacturing is 8%. Here we have... Um, what, 6% in administrative and support and waste management and re remediation services, again, about 5.6%. Okay, so now we want to do the same calculations for the U.S. as a whole, because remember, that's our benchmark economy. So we'll say equals the value that's in cell C7 divided by the value that's in cell C6. I'll put in my dollar sign to freeze that. Now watch, this is going to be, uh, you can do this really quickly. You can copy and paste um, that, uh, that formula going down the column. Let's make the formatting the same. Oops. Copy my formatting. Paste it. There we go. And we can sum the values for the U.S. to make sure we did everything right. And we did. So we've accounted for 100% of U.S. private non-farm employment across these, um, these sectors of the economy. So now we can even look for the United States. In the U.S., 11% of employment is from retail trade. In the U.S., just under 7% is in construction. For the U.S. as a whole, um, about 8.5% in professional, scientific, and technical services. For the U.S. as a whole, um, about 8% or 7.8% in accommodation and food services. So with this information, we can calculate location quotients. Remember, location quotient is EI divided by E, which is the information um, in these cells divided by USI, divided by US, which is the information in these cells. So we'll say equals um, cell E7 divided by F7. And I'm going to hit, as soon as I hit enter, you're going to see a location quotient. So hopefully you're ready. We'll count down. Three, two, one. There it is. All right, a location quotient. 3.66. Um, when I was a, a young child, the first three digits of my phone number is 366. As a kid, my phone number was 3665959. So it's nice to see 366. Um, we can copy and paste these cells going down the column. We don't have to worry about putting dollar signs in because we want it to be a relative address. We want it to be that when we copy this cell, that it actually takes the information in E8 and divides it by um, the information that's in, um, in F8. All right, so we can copy and paste down the rest here. Um, of course, if you were to sum up these location quotients, there's no reason why it should equal anything in particular. So we're not, there's not really a way that we can sum these to do a, a, a check on whether or not we did our work correctly. I am going to copy and paste the industry titles just so they'll be next to the location quotients. Makes things a little bit easier to read here. So again, here we have a location quotient for forestry, fishing, and related in Maine, mining, utilities, construction, um, real estate. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. Um, healthcare, arts, etc. 
So what did we learn about the Maine economy? First off, Maine has a high specialization in forestry, fishing, and related industries. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone because Maine is heavily forested and also we're located on the coast. Maine has a little bit of a specialization in construction with a location quotient of 1.24, um, a specialization in retail trade. What are some other sectors? Management of companies and enterprises has location quotient of just under 1.4. Um, arts, entertainment, and recreation has a location quotient of 1.16. And then you see healthcare with a location quotient of 1.22. Maine has one of the oldest populations in the United States, so it makes sense that there would be a specialization in healthcare. Maine, on the other hand, is underrepresented in the sector for mining, quarrying, and oil and gas extraction. In other words, there's very low activity in those sectors in Maine. Also underrepresented in utilities, wholesale trade, transportation. And then you see these next few sectors that are some of your uh, business type services. Um, Maine is underrepresented in information, finance and insurance, and also underrepresented in professional scientific and technical services. Um, if you look at accommodation and food services, the location quotient is very close to one which means that the share of employment in this sector in Maine, which is 8%, is very close um, to the benchmark. This might be a surprise to some people. Um, at one time, Maine had the motto, vacation land, suggesting that lots of people come to Maine for their vacations. But if you actually look at the data, the percentage of employment in hospitality or accommodation and food services is very similar to the U.S. benchmark suggesting that Maine really is not that different than the U.S. as a whole when it comes to um, these sectors. So hopefully this video is useful in terms of calculating location quotients. Um, and location quotients can be used to provide really good descriptive information about a region's economy. We've learned some new things about uh, the Maine economy. For instance, we've it might be a surprise that accommodations and food services has a location quotient of close to one. Um, the fact that we have a specialization in healthcare shouldn't come as much of a surprise. Likewise, the fact that the state has a pretty high specialization in forestry and fishing probably doesn't come as a surprise. Um, some of these results to industries such as professional, scientific, and technical services, finance, and information suggest that Maine is underrepresented in um, many of these services that are important to today's economy.